Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how they will never apologize. They are too embarrassed. They are too shameful. They are too prideful to ever apologize. What you will get occasionally from some of these other beings who are not moving on God's time or in God's light you will occasionally hear them say sorry when I was growing up sorry was a board game so I never took sorry's as a, a genuine form of an apology so understanding these things this is a huge reason why these beings can do us so dirty you know be so vile to us have all these weird engagements with us know that they was wrong and still give no genuine sincere apology for one most of them aren't apologetic or sorry you know it's kind of like when somebody does something and they get caught most people aren't sorry or apologetic that you know they did what they did they more apologetic that they got caught and what happens with these apologies is when you receiving a real apology, a real apology is felt. For one, you're going to feel it. And then for two, there's going to be actions done on the other person's part to show that they are apologetic for the actions that they took or however the situation may have happened. And I had a... Now that I'm just speaking of it right now, I didn't have anything planned for this. But it, speaking of it out loud, a couple weeks ago, I ran into somebody. I didn't know them that well. It's very small engagements over there. But um, they had hung up the phone on me. I didn't take offense to it or like be weird or anything about it because I didn't, I didn't know them that well anyways. And it was like they had some kind of weird engagement going on behind the scenes. And I think it was something to do with like their son, like screaming or yelling. He was doing something weird and the mom was trying to get him to like listen to do something. He didn't want to listen to do something. And I made a, a disgruntled noise. I don't really remember what it was because I didn't think that much of into it. And... Like, I have to have some kind of emotional bond with you in order for me to care at a certain level about things. And I didn't pay it no mind. Weeks, weeks later came on down the line and I stopped by their job while I was working. And they came out from behind the back to come up and to speak with me. And I was just kind of baffled because, like I said, like, if I don't have a connection with you, all these things that people do to show disrespect or to show that they don't care, it goes right over my head because if the shoe don't fit, I don't wear it. And this being has sat down and was like, I I'm sorry for hanging up on you, uh, blah, 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 blah. Do you, they was asking me if I remembered. And when they start saying these things, it kind of just put me in a mind state of, for one, I had to perceive it as there really wasn't trying to be apologetic because they would have called me back around that time and for two it almost like the way they was choosing the words that they was choosing and the way they was trying to ask or make statements it was almost as if though they was trying to see or they wanted to offend me one of those two and I wasn't either or you know I had told them like ah, it's not that big of a deal blase blase blah I was like preoccupied with work and doing other things then they uh, they kept saying like, oh, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. And after they got done talking, I said, uh, I made a statement referring to sorry. I was like, you're not really sorry. And I said that in a form of being aware that most people are apologetic, that genuinely feels empathy for how they've done you or how the situation may have transpired. 
And when I said, you're not sorry, I didn't say it like with anger or aggression. I just kind of said it lightly. You know, I know how to pitch my tone of my voice up and down. I just, I know how to do certain things as far as when it comes to communicating and engaging with people. And they had to process for a second. It was like, you know what? I'm not sorry, you know? And then they kind of gave this whole rundown behind it. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I, I already knew this. If you're moving in God's light and on God's time, it's going to show how apologetic you are. That's why I don't like even saying sorry. You know, I do the my bad, my bad thing. But even when I say my bad, I'm saying it multiple times and I'm putting, you know, that forgiveness energy behind my bad when I am saying my bad, my bad, my bad, you know. But when the person said that they wasn't sorry, you know, I, I didn't get mad or offended. I was just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's ex that's expected. Like, we do the things we do for a certain reason. So it makes sense for you not to be sorry. Whenever I hung up on somebody or done some weird things, I usually call back, you know, or if I had left somewhere and they expected me to still stay or something, I would compensate for it. These people do not have a compensation because they are not apologetic beings, you know. I can name numerous other situations where people just did weird, witchy shit and they wanted to spin the block back on me. But when they spin the block, they don't address all the things that had transpired that got you to that space. They only try to start from where they are crossing your path at again at that point in time. It's been less than a handful of people that has actually came back into my life and was actually real apologetic. And I felt it, and then they showed and led with their actions. The rest of these beings are not apologetic, you know? They're users, and this is one way and another form of manipulating you and your energy. This is another way and form of how they can get over on you and they get over on us because we are forgiving beings, you know? It's not like a percentage of it is we forgive them. The other percentage of it is we forgive ourselves for not being more aware. And then the other percentage of that is it's just us having trust in the creator and source itself. You know what I mean? So uh, I know a lot of people would take that as a weakness, but I, you know, it, as far as the way this, this battle is set up out here, this spiritual battle, the only space that they really can try to do any damage to me at is financial. Everything else, I'm pretty covered in, you know? And I only say financial because that's like taking away my water or my food. You know, I need my water and my food to survive. And of course, finances have become one of those resources. Outside of that, everything else, I'm to infinity and beyond. You know what I mean? When these beings are working these word spells they are really trying to see how much damage they can do and how much they can get over on you and how selfish they can be in your presence they really want to be extremely selfish in your presence they really love the energy that we give and they don't want to reciprocate it most of them don't reciprocate it and for a lot of us if we're around people's present, we usually are around them because we want to and we usually give energy because we want to. We're not giving energy because we're like, hey, yeah, well, they can give me this energy back in five minutes. If that happens and that's the case, then cool. That's what it is. But we only start looking for more reciprocation as we have more engagements with those beings. Because spiritually, you weighing it out. You know, naturally, we are givers, so we don't look at our first encounters and engagement as, oh, they're not reciprocating, because we're natural givers. It's what we do. But once we start giving too much, we start pouring too much, then that's when we start to second guess, we start to retract, we start to, you know, move ourselves out to space, we start to minimize our engagements and our encounters with these beings. And I think I had mentioned to y'all before about the other person that had randomly pulled up to my house and knocked on my door you know they said sorry when they was there but they didn't show it with the actions they said sorry the next day but they didn't show it with their actions 
they texted me and said sorry as they were gone, but they didn't show up with the actions. And I never heard from that being again. This is how I know. This is more confirmation because I already knew these things. This is more confirmation as far as how we know that a lot of these beings aren't empathetic. They aren't apologetic. These beings are extremely selfish and they're warped off into that demonic playbook so deep that most of them are not getting removed out of there. The ones that are being able to wiggle around in that space a little bit more, what I realize is these beings had something traumatic happen to them. So then they become a little bit more aware and changing their actions and behaviors. But they have to have something traumatic happen with them. We Y'all heard me talk about a lot of stuff. People getting into this stuff. People having that happen to them. But these aren't really traumatic. Traumatic is like the last video we was talking about. What was happening to them was they were having obstacles in their way. They didn't have anything big like somebody passing away that was close to them. You know, having some kind of real medical issues going on with them you know what i mean they didn't have to run into these things but what i have realized is the ones that do have these big things happen with them they they do tend to start trying to shift over a little bit more but who knows in their walk of life how much they have to make up for you know and really there is no makeup for lost time but you can put the footwork in where you are at today you know what i mean but I really wasn't trying to run it up today. I just wanted to touch base on a lot of these beings aren't apologetic. And if they are using the word sorry, you have to be extremely mindful of them redoing these things all over again. You know what I mean? What's up? Um, yeah, I'm about to wrap it up. We up we up here at the park. The mini wasn't feeling feeling too well today, so uh I told her we gotta get out, and get some sun. Get some water, a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? But but I ain't wanna run it up too long. I just wanted to touch base on these things, you know what I mean? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens. Mm -hmm.